jiu-jitsu has definitely made me a better person. It gives me the advantage to look at other human beings. And I get the chance to understand them more. My name's Alan Phillips and I'm 71 years old. I've been training Brazilian jiu-jitsu for four years and I'm here five, six days every week. I wish I would have started, you know, when I was a kid. Jiu-Jitsu definitely helped me with controlling my anger. I mean, I'm here and it's like walking into a church or a temple of any type. It's almost a religion as far as I'm concerned. This is uh, my home, my home every morning. I get here between 8 and 8.30 sometimes. I bring my lunch here, I bring my breakfast and lunch here. <laughs> and I, I get the carbs and the protein. I gotta have protein in my body before and after I train. I like looking at my moves, other people rolling, and I see my mistakes and things that I can create. And I take it to the mat and probably 80% of the time isn't gonna work. But when I get that 20% that I can add to my art that I'm developing, I love it. It's, 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 it's so <laughs> fulfilling. Jiu-Jitsu has made me humble. I've competed over the last four years and I've been humbled pretty good. <laughs> this year I've had a couple medical problems, but I'm starting to train really hard. I want to compete before the end of the year, all things being equal. I've had a, several bouts of some bad skin cancer. Four months ago, squamous so cell carcinoma. I've had a bout with melanoma. And just recently, I just got 22 stitches right here. And they just took something off there. So I've got the scars. I remind, remind myself every day. Touch them, feel them. <clears throat> With skin cancer, once you feel there's a problem, you have a biopsy, you got a waiting period. You start thinking, you know, what if this comes back and it's not in situ, that it's going into your blood system? And then you start thinking about your family and what you're gonna to do today. And so I've got it planned out. And my mornings are jujitsu. The rest of the day's spending with my wife. It makes me realize that you gotta do what you wanna do every day and pick something that's gonna make you happy. And jujitsu here at Legacy makes me happy. I can sit here and if I had surgery and I've been cut by a doctor and I got stitches, I can sit home and watch TV and go pop a beer or open a bottle of wine. Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. It's too, it's too easy to do that. This is work. It's replaced work and an accomplishment in my life. It just opens your mind. Jiu-Jitsu opens your mind. I got a nickname one of the jujitsu guys here gave me the name Savage, and I didn't know it for a while until people started calling me Savage. I got it because I ended up on a guy that was 20 years younger than me, six foot plus, and I'm five, seven and a half. Ended up jumping on his back trying to choke him out. But the fight was done, and I went up into the bleachers where my wife and her girlfriend was, and uh, there's this guy got up and he came over to me and said, man, he said, I saw you out there and you, were, you really inspired me, man. He asked me how old I was and he told me his son had passed away and he had trained jujitsu with him. <sighs> and they were both, I think I said they were both blue belts and they would train, you know, weekly but his, his son was dead. And he said, you inspired me, I'm gonna start doing jujitsu again. And I told him, I said, you'll probably really love it because it'll be the closest you ever got to your son now. And we both kind of broke down and cried. Gave each other a hug. And I didn't even know that guy, but it's a brotherhood that you got going here. And I think people start caring about each other that I don't see uh, in other martial arts.
know, you think of jiu-jitsu as maybe fighting, being somebody out, like people think of that, you know, but it's much more than just winning, losing, and, you know, it's uh, like an amazing tool to drop you know, optimizing yourself, being a better person, and embracing that makes you bigger than you are. I just let's get to it. <laughs> I think a lot of people, as they get older, get beat down from whatever. It's like a fight. If you get beat down enough, you're gonna stop. I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna get up. I think I set myself to be an example, if that's the only thing I do in my life, to be an example that you, you just don't give up, no matter how hard things hit you. All my losses that I've had, it makes me stronger to know that I can still get back out there and hit the mat again and fight again. And if it turns out some of those were my last fights, at least I, I've done it and I'll keep rolling. I'll keep rolling. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I don't think it's too old to train jiu-jitsu. You want to roll? <laughs>